Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kanchika and we are starting a new game today, uh, Skyborn. This is an RPG I got from Steam not too long ago. Uh, I believe actually, um, let me see, I have it on my computer here. Uh, it is 75% off at the Humble store and it is what, August 29th, I think? It's around there. So check out uh, the Humble bundle deals if you're interested, but it's also on Steam. And yeah, I thought this looked really interesting, kind of a steampunky looking RPG. So let's start the new game. I know it's about Sky Pirates, and that's pretty much it. Oh, <gasps> pretty. The fixing away my apartment. This is my apartment. Claret. Ah, my name is Claret. Uh, another day in, whoops, paradise, Coggy. <laughs> so, what if the sun can't break through the smog? It gives our shop some atmosphere. Sunshine's overrated anyway. <laughs> ah, grr, I just rewired that. Sigh. I wonder if I can trade you in for a cat, Coggy. <gasps> cat! Everything okay in here, Claret? Nothing I can't handle, just a little pest problem. Okay, well, we've got an important client coming in soon, so you might want to clean things up. Do you see a mess in here? I keep my workspace clean, unlike some people I know. Let's turn that down. There we go. I wasn't talking about your workspace. Your clothes are covered in engine grease. Huh? I'm not paid to look clean. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, we need to bring that thing up and running by tomorrow, so get to it. Hmm. What client cares if their mechanic is clean? Now, where did I leave my rivet gun? Oh, right over there to the left by the front desk. Alright. Woo! So... How to move about. Arrow keys to move. And I can click to move. Okay. And then controls are a funny thing. Also, there's no music right now. That's kind of weird. Can I go in? Nope. <laughs> Alright. It's fast walking. So. Alright, I can press spacebar to interact with little things. That's Coggy. And let's move the mouse out of the way. Oh! <gasps> Skyborn officer. Well, well, looks like we might have a renegade half-breed on the loose. <gasps> Let me go, I am not a half-breed. I've been through processing already, so lay off. Doesn't have any wings, sir. Some havesies are late bloomers. Besides, there's more than one way to prove he's not human. Oh. Hey. Why are you beating up people in my shop? What's going on here? I've got a report of a free half-breed in this part of town. You know the law. You're harassing my employee in my shop. Whoa, take it easy, lady. I think you should leave. Back off, ma'am. Let's not make this official. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, let's grab my rivet gun. Oh! Get out, get out, get out, get out! Yeah, shooting gears and box things at them. Typical dirt stomper. You're lucky you've got the client you do, else you and I would have words. Keep your nose clean, human. Corwin, are you okay? Man, Corwin, why'd you get beat up? I'm fine, thanks, Claret. Huh, what makes them think they can treat people that way? Probably something about their wings, their magic, and the fact they won the war. I'm so sorry, Corwin. I don't know why the Skyborn Prefix are coming in here. They've never taken notice of us before. It's okay. Some of them came in the other day. Same routine. It's nothing new. They beat you up daily? Have you told Jake? Really, it's not a big deal. Please don't concern him with it. I'll clean up around here so you can get back to work. Mm. Alright, so now we know we're in a world where... We're in a world where humans and some sort of magic flying creatures, Skyborns, exist. The Skyborns won the war, so humans are now considered lower class. Half-breeds, apparently, are maybe even worse. So, what a mess, Coggy. 
Oh well, I need to fix this fix this airship anyhow. And whoever flies it must be the world's worst pilot. The navigation course is completely shot. We're all out, but I should be able to pick a new one up in the city. Oh, I'll be fine. Besides, if I run into trouble, I do know how to use a rivet gun after all. Just need to grab those before I head out. Ah, in my treasure chest I keep my rivet guns. Two rivet guns. Open the menu and equip the rivet guns. Access the menu by pressing escape, X, or right click. Use the menu bar. Okay, so let's do X. Cool. <gasps> Claire at level one. Equip. We've got weapon one, rivet gun. Weapon two, rivet gun. I have glorified hairband goggles. No accessories. All right, let's leave this. Leave this. Okay. Why don't you take the rest of the day off, Corwin? I would if I were you. I'll be fine. It's you I'm worried about. Jake seemed rather nervous about this new client. Must be a big deal. Eh, Jake is a worry word. We don't care about what he thinks. Okay, so it looks like I can't really interact with anything up here. So let's go back down. Go out into the big city. Get, get me some parts for my ship. Alright, Spencer Dry Dock and Repair, that's my place. Industrial District and Blackstone Industries. Cool, what's this? <gasps> Claret is now level 2. That was easy. This is an exploration node. Walk into these in order to gain experience points toward leveling up. There are dozens of these all the world. Some are easy to find, some are more hidden. Reward yourself with... That's cool! So not only does this game reward you, I assume, for battling, but you're rewarded for exploring as well. Awesome. Alright, so I can't go any further on this dock. Ooh. Lenora, little Claret Spencer came out of her cave. What brings you to town? Surely it must be about work, work, work. You betcha. Just picking up a few things for a ship in very sad shape. Ah, cool, and they highlight doors we can enter in. That's helpful. Well, well, Claret Spencer, you're looking rustic. <laughs> How's the repair shop business faring these days? Doing quite well, Astrid. Pay is good enough, a hard day's work really cleanses the soul. It's, what's, it's what us rustic people do to pass the time. Mm-hmm, good to hear. Well, then I imagine you're here for widgets or whatever it is you people do. My uncle over there behind the counter would be pleased to assist you. Ah, cool. Long time no speak, Harold. I need a Navigation 4 for an Osprey MK2 yacht. Please tell me you guys have one sitting around. Osprey Nav Corps, yep, got one right here. Don't sell those much, they run about 40 bits. I'll let one go for 30 for Spencer's lovely girl. Thanks! Who says good looks don't get you anywhere? Alright, well good thing, because I only have 50. Okay. So, let us... Explore town a little bit, because we know we're rewarded for that. Oh! Ow! Who dares to? Oh, great. It's that crazy mechanic again. Oh, great. The pompous Skyborn again. I have just about enough of your lip, human. Time to teach you some manners. <gasps> You'll be sorry you messed with Claret Spencer. Ha! Think I'm afraid of a rivet gun? You've obviously never faced a Skyborn warrior. Alright, first battle. So, looks like we can see the attacks a la Final Fantasy X, so that's kind of cool. And we can just press go and attack. Alright. So, this isn't looking too good for me. <laughs> oh, come on, you two. Phew. That's good. I'll not have brawling in the streets. Leave the human to its work. Surely we have more important things to do. Ugh, as you wish, sir. Human, I'm keeping my eye on you. Ooh, goodbye, Skyborn, with your fancy, ugly wings. Yeah, you better fly away. Alright, time to finish this air shop job. Alright, so it looks like... Can I... Oh, I can't go there. Alright, so the game has restricted me from exploring. For now. Alright, welcome home. Well, I'm happy to see you too, Cocky. Time to finish this repair job. Anything new, Mr. Corwin? 
Oh, nope, he's just not wanting to say anything new. So let's go here. Alright. Ah, oh, this must be the fancy client. Claret, I'd like to introduce you to Sullivan Chesterford. Mr. Chesterford, this is my younger sister, Claret. She's our main mechanic here at Spencer Dry Dock and Repair. Alright, what up? Dashing Sky Pirate. Uh, hello there, um, miss. Hi. Since when do I have to deal with clients? Er, well, Mr. Chesterford wanted to see how the repairs are coming along on his airship. His airship? Oh, so you're the owner. Yes, it's been making an odd clanking sound lately. I assume you'll be able to repair it? Ha! The clanking was just one of your problems. The timing belt slipped, causing the engine to misfire. But I also found a bent propeller, worn out struts, loose lug nuts, and a giant gouge in the hole. This poor girl's been through the ringer. Your pilot should be fired. He's the pilot. Surely I'm not that bad. I've taken at least a month's worth of the best flight courses money can buy. You did this? You... you... Claret... important... You don't deserve an airship! That's frustrating. Spoiled rich dude not taking care of his ship. And that's why Jake won't let you run the front desk. I can't stand it when people don't take care of their machines. Besides, that guy was such a tool I could have fixed the airship using him. <laughs> She's good. Well, I hope he's not too offended. The Chesterfords are in the wealthiest circles. They're even accepted into the Skyborn Society. Could really use their business. Oh, don't worry. When he sees how smoothly his ship runs after I'm through with her, he'll be back. Assuming he doesn't crash a ship into the Celestial Palace or something. <sighs> I like Clara. She's tough. She's cool. Alright, Coggy, what's up? Phew! Just about ready. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Here he comes. Thanks again. Your ship should be ready tomorrow afternoon. A pleasure, Mr. Spencer. Glad we were able to reach an agreement. And I'll look forward to a fresh slew of insults on the morrow from your oh-so-charming sister. Is he trying to flirt with me? What? Farewell. Good riddance! Sigh, Claret. Oh. <sighs> Claire, don't you think that just this once you could have tried to make a good impression? Sorry, Jake. That guy just got on my nerves. Yeah. Um, Claire, there's something I need to talk to you about. What now? I don't think you're gonna like it much. Okay. In fact, I probably should have talked to you a little sooner. Just tell me already, you're freaking me out. I'm selling the shop to Sullivan Chesterford. Oh! <gasps> Betrayal! What? You didn't even talk to me! I'm the mechanic! Oh my gosh, he crashed the air- oh my gosh. What? Look, I know you like to focus on your work, but look around you. Big things are happening in the city, and I can't sit here fixing widgets forever just watching the world change. I have to go be a part of it. But you can't sell the shop. I've already made the deal and the contract to sign. Sorry, Claret. How could you? This this is our home. Look at all we've accomplished here, especially after Mom and Dad walked out on us. Can't blame them. They probably didn't want to be stuck here either. How can you say that? Are you going to leave me too? Now hold on a second. I'm sure you'll all be taken care of. Trust your big brother. I don't know. Can I trust you after you've sold the shop without even telling me? What? Oh, hey -o. I I've never seen so much money. Mr. Chesterford and I spent hours working out the deal. In addition to you getting ha your half of a very generous sum of money from the shop sale, there's a way you can keep working here and run the place. Really? How? Simple. I knew it. I knew it. You become Mrs. Chesterford. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Claire, it's not liking this. You have got to be kidding. Nope. We talked about it. Took some haggling, but he's already agreed. You sold me as part of the shop? 
Whoa, no. I meant I had to haggle to get him to take you. Ah! <laughs> I'm with you, Claret. This sucks. Yeah, Coggy, come with me. Don't hang out with Jake the Betrayer. Well. Okay. What are we gonna do, Claret? Homeless, unemployed, humiliated. I know, Coggy. My brother is an idiot. How could he do this to me? And what made him think I'd marry that Chesterford guy? It was the dumbest thing I ever heard. Hmm. Guess there's only one thing to do. Come on, Coggy, I've got a plan. Yep, the airship is still in the work plane. Flight ready. Let's go. Stealing the airship. Oh. What up, Corwin? Uh, I was just getting a drink of water. Really? Jake told me the news. Oh. I'll pretend I didn't see you. You will? Every person should be free to make their own choices. Thanks, Corwin. Oh, one more thing. Could you give this to Jake when you see him? Goodness, isn't this your share of the sale money? He's gonna need it. Take care, Corin. Yeah, to pay off the ship that I'm about to take. Awesome! Alright, here we go. Yeah, that guy doesn't deserve this anyways. Oh, this is almost too easy. Jake is going to be furious. Alright, here we go. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, is he in the airship? Wait. Good, looks like everything's here. What the? Oops. Zounds! I'm stealing the airship with the owner in it. Oh my gosh. Well, great. Thud? No, there should be no thud. I triple checked the engine earlier. <gasps> you! What are you doing here? The shop closed hours ago. It's my ship. What are you doing flying it? Uh, uh awkward. Uh, I know, right, Coggy? I was just. I was only. Look, Jake told me about your little contract. I've decided it's unacceptable. I'm taking the ship as compensation. Thief! How dare you? We have a signed agreement. Uh-oh. Ah, Stormrock Sky Patrol Jones! I ran straight into them. Ha! Now who's the bad pilot? Your fault for distracting me. Blast, how am I going to explain this to Jake and the city guard? Hmm. Surely we can resolve this in a civilized manner. Oh, now you want to talk about it? A little late, the drones are closing in. Bother. Let's fight them. Let's fight them off. Fight them? I thought you... Come on now. You don't want to be arrested for theft and kidnapping, do you? No, but... Why can't you just tell them that we were test driving it together? Ugh, I guess I have no choice. Coggy, take the wheel. Thanks, Coggy. <laughs> so cute. Here they come. Alright, let me take the brunt of their attacks. Make sure my threat is higher than yours, Claret. They'll always attack whoever has the highest threat. What do you mean, threat? Why can't we just blast these out of the sky? You draw attention to yourself by dealing damage. If your threat gets too high, hang back and defend while I try to draw threat away from you. Just be careful and don't get yourself killed. Alright, so his threat is 69, so... Oh, so every time I attack... My threat gets higher. Okay. Um, let's have her defend, maybe? And he shall attack. Alright, expose weakness. Let's attack this guy one last time. Incapacitated. Okay, oh dear. Uh, let's have her defend. He should attack. This is an interesting mechanic. It forces you to actually use 
your players more wisely rather than having just everyone attack. She's just going to defend. And it looks like defending also increases your MP. Cool. Awesome. So battles also get easier as you continue to play them. And I've leveled up again. I say, Claret, you're a dab hand with those rivet guns. Uh, thanks. Why are you helping me all of a sudden? Never helps to antagonize your kidnapper and all that. I haven't kidnapped anybody. That's wonderful news. You'll return my ship and my person to the dock then. No way am I going back. I'll have to dump you somewhere else. Oh, are you my new chauffeur? We ought to discuss your wages. He thinks he's so funny. Ugh, look here, Sullyford. We both want you off this boat. Fine, I'll let you off wherever you want, but I'm keeping the ship. I even left a bunch of money with Jake to pay for it. Huh, well if that's the case, let's make this legal, shall we? Fly me to Uptown, we can go to the airship registry office and record the sale. You'd do that? Why not? I always can buy another. Well, I guess you can, huh? Sounds like a deal. That was easily remedied. Cool. A little too easily. Huh. Surely you've been to Uptown before. I came up here once with Jake and Corwin when we needed some parts for a job, but I didn't see much. Oh, fear not. I am a directional genius. Just head into town and the registry office will be all the way to the west, right next to the town square. Quest journal updated. Alright. So, we've got here... Ooh, Uptown. Uptown Dock is not responsible for any lost or stolen goods. Cool. Oh, hey, it's Guyborn. Can't wait to get a promotion and get out of the stinking town. I think this is a great town. Okay, so can't interact with those things. Uptown District. Airship Registry Office. Hall of Praetor and Goriel. Grandminster Airport. Awesome. Alright. Folks from below, eh? Hands to yourself up here. We don't tolerate riffraff in Uptown. Ho oh, there, are you new around here? Yes? Ah, a youngster like you may need a bit of guidance before heading out in the world. Inside the inn is my school, Sir Tutoris's Adventurer's School. We shall be your guide if you need us. Ah, thanks, Sir Tutoris. Uptown is a bit more ritzy than the rest of the city, huh? Well, except for the Skyborn area, of course. Uh, no loitering or littering, just don't touch anything. Ooh, pretty. I don't need anything for now. Oh, outfits. Shortcut through the town. Who goes there? Oh, move it along, citizen. Can't go through there. Oh! Guards milling about again. Could it be the Red Spectre? Ugh, why don't the guards catch him already? Bloody hell. What is it? What's going on? The Red Spectre. He's something of a local menace. What does he do? Petty crime, usually. Vandalizing public property, harassing the Skyburn prefix, and the like. He's been getting bold of late, though. Why don't the guards catch him? Oh, they're trying. So far, none of... <laughs> bah ha ha ha! There he is! The Red Spectre! Ooh. He's a gonna climb! Run, you fool! Goodness, they're right on your tail! You're really into this. Yes, yes, big fan. So stylish. Jump! Get out of there! <laughs> so is that kind of a Robin Hood sort of guy, I guess? Ooh! What? Oh no! Dirt Stomper should stay in the dirt. Don't see how a bumbling fool like you has managed to evade the guard so long, but it ends now. <gasps> Ooh. Go, go, go! Yes! Don't know who the Red Menace is, but I'm so happy he or she got away. You sure do like criminals, huh? I, uh, <clears throat> you and up brigands do have a sort of charm, I suppose. I'm not a criminal. Well, I mean, we did steal a ship, Claret. Children, I'm the Red Spectre. You can't catch me. Whee! Swoon, he's so dashing. I know. 
Oh dear, what's going to become of this town What with this new crime wave? Hmm, if there was a higher bounty, I'd catch him myself. Sure you would. Oh, look, this pigeon, or goose. What is this? What you need, my lord? Good sir, oh, this is the registry. Record this bill of sale for us, if you would. Ah, not too many of us can say they own an airship. Lucky girl you are. Done and done. That's it then? Certainly, the ship is yours. Congratulations. Thanks. Allow me to walk you back to the docks. I think I can find my way. No, no, I insist. Directional genius, remember? Right. Okay, whatever then. It's like a weird idea of a first date to this guy. This used to be the apex of the city back before the war. Once the Skyborn took over and built their fancy schmancy palace above it, they renamed their city New Stormrock. Most of us folks still call it Grandminster. Okay. I wonder if there's any way for me to explore a little bit more. Maybe get one of those level up explore exploration spheres. No escapes the upper granny minster prison on my watch. Prison? Ooh. The Praetor is not seeing anyone at this time. Okay, I bet you he's not gonna let me in the prison. I wonder if I'll get thrown into prison later on in the game. Ah, weapons shop. Let's see if we can buy any weapons. Buy. Ooh. Iron Magnum, Iron Nail Gun. Okay. Well, that's cool. Nothing for now, I suppose. Alright, let's let's go back. Let's have him walk us back to the docks. Okay. Of all the bloody messes. Uh, something wrong? My dear, I'm afraid I must apologize. What for? Abysmal timing. I don't... Guards! Guards! Help! Are you trying to toy with us, human? Watch your tongue. That's Chesterford's kid. Ugh, fine. Is there a problem, boy? Arrest this woman! What? She's a thief and a kidnapper. Throw her in prison. Right away. Let me go! That ship's mine! I've got the deed right here! We had a deal, you... you liar! Ooh, Chesterford. Alright, do you know how I just said, I wonder if I'm going to be thrown to prison? That overdressed, lily-livered bastard. I hope he chokes on his cravat. How dare he accuse me like that. Oh, hey, Coggy, you joined me. Guilty? Of course I'm not. Not anymore, anyway. We worked it out. Why did he wait so long to call the guard? They'll have to let me go once they see my name on the airship deed. If they bother reading it. This is so unfair. Let's see. Claret Spencer charged with theft and kidnapping? I'm not guilty. I demand a trial. Trial? <laughs> Hilarious. Did you hear that? Yes, I did, sir. Riveting. If you want to get out of here, human, you gotta tell me what I want to know. What? Where's the location of the rebel hideout? The what? Who is the leader of the rebel movement? How would I know? Give me names, then. Who's involved? Um, I don't know. She's obviously been trained to resist interrogation. Sir, she may not be involved at all. The report says she was accused by one Sullivan Chesterford. Spoiled Chesterford brat? See, even the Skyborn know. Huh, I see. What a bother. You take this one, Dacian. I have real criminals to deal with. Great, so does this guy make a habit of accusing people? Claret Spencer, is it? Yeah, so? Interesting. Excuse me a moment. I can't believe this. Yeah. What's going on? What's my brother doing? Jake! So you do know each other. Are, are, are you a prisoner? 
clear it, I... Perhaps you weren't listening when I ordered you to remain silent. Oh my gosh, is my brother involved with the rebels? <gasps> Transfer this one to the fortress. I want him under maximum guard. What's your deal? My brother didn't do anything. I'm afraid that's not the case. He was discovered this morning attempt to conceal a half-breed. But that's not what I wanted to discuss with you. You see, you're not the only one who wants to escape this prison. I have come up with a plan that will benefit us both. I don't need a plan. I'm not even guilty. Your brother is. What? Not to worry. I can help him. But I will do so only if you agree to work with me. What is it that you want? The warden wants to expose the rebel sleeper cells gathering here in the city. Doing so would grant him great prestige among the upper echelons of my people. Unfortunately for him, that prestige will inexor in inexor inexorably be mine. While he chases ghosts, I will focus my attention on a more practical problem. The Red Spectre. I already told you guys, I'm not involved with anything like that. Hell, this is only my second time in Uptown. Just listen. I've studied his movements. I'm certain the Red Spectre is not only affiliated with the Rebels quite intimately, but is planning a jailbreak here. Hmm. I will transfer you to a new cell. When the Red Spectre attempts his jailbreaks, you should be able to escape with the rest of the prisoners he's after. From there it's simple. Let him take you to his hideout, discover his identity, and report back to me. If you succeed, you and your brother will go free. But I... Or you can refuse and your brother will die. What kind of option is that, Dacian? Who knows how long you'll rot in here. You don't leave me with a whole lot of choices. You understand, then. Come with me. Well, I guess these Skyborn guys are pretty persuasive. Here we go. Don't speak of our agreement to anyone, or this whole thing will fall apart. I look forward to hearing from you. Oh, look, some people with... Okay. Alright, so. The plan has been set. We shall see what happens. Uh, I'm going to save here. Next time we'll start and see what happens with the Red Spectre if he actually does end up breaking us out. And if I can figure out who he or she, don't want to discount that it could possibly be a female, uh, who he or she is. So I'm liking this game so far. A lot of plot being set up. I'm hoping next time we'll there'll be a little bit more exploration and gameplay. But yeah, very, very good game. Again, check it out, uh, Skyborn. It is on Steam, and yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are, and yeah, bye! <laughs>